This is what police say one woman tried using on fast food workers when her order wasn't quite right. That woman and a friend were on the run for several hours. Yeah, but police caught up with the two women. They're accused of threatening and hitting some fast food workers, all because they didn't get their mayo and mustard with their fast food order. Fox 35's Kelly Joyce, live at the Volusia County Jail tonight. She talked with one of the suspects. Uh, Kelly, what does she have to say about this? Well, we were here, we're the only ones here when Katrina Bryant walked out of jail here tonight, and she denied who she was. Are you Katrina? No, ma'am. What no. happened today at Wendy's? No. I don't know you what you're Katrina? talking about. You got the wrong yeah. person. Okay. Deputies say this is definitely Katrina Bryant, one of two women accused of threatening employees at this Daytona Beach Wendy's restaurant. Bryant and her friend Melanie's Reed went through the drive through around 10 this morning. Employees say Reed was really mad because she didn't get the mayo and mustard she ordered, and they say she slapped the guy working in the window. According to this police report, Reed says she pointed at the guy through the window. She says he grabbed her arm, so she smacked him to get him away. That worker says Bryant and Reed disappeared for a few minutes. They went to the car to get something, and they came back inside and went behind the counters that coming through. That's when I ran out the back door. Police say Reed was running through the restaurant with this, a pink stun gun, and employees say she was looking for the drive through employee. The two women took off and police put out an alert. Just hours later, Holly Hill police found them in a parking lot and arrested them. Now, Reed is still in the jail here tonight on aggravated assault charges. We're told she will see a judge tomorrow afternoon. Live in Daytona Beach, Kelly Joyce, Fox 35 News at 10. Kelly, any word on where they got that stun gun that they used? Well, right now, police aren't saying. They said it's legal to have one of these. You can buy them on the Internet. You can buy them in a store. But it's how you use them. And they say in this case, it definitely was used inappropriately and against the law. Sonny. Absolutely. Kelly Joyce reporting.